what did you think was going to happen when you shot 12 rounds at somebody? Uh, I wasn't trying to hit him. You hit him twice. I know, but I wasn't trying to. Welcome to the Rebel Chaser channel. My name is Gail, and this clip comes from Judge John Stevens at Jefferson County Criminal District Court in Texas. 39623 is now called the state of Texas versus Grayland Wright. You were Mr. Wright? Yes, sir. Present. Mm -hmm. Your attorney now. Mm -hmm. Terrence Allison yes. is the attorney of record, but Correct. I know you're associated with Mr. Allison. I am. And um, you are, please uh, tell us, uh, present yourself for the record uh, on his on the defendant's behalf. My name is Allen, M A R I B I O U S. And uh, do you understand, Mr. Wright, that uh, Terrence Allison is not here? You don't have yes, any sir. objection yes, sir. for uh, his associate to be here with you, who is a licensed attorney at law. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you ready? Oh. Earlier, you pleaded guilty here in this case to the second degree felony of aggravated assault. Pre sentence report has been prepared. Have the parties had an opportunity to review it? And are there any corrections or changes to it? I've had a chance to review it, and I'm not sure it would be a correction, but mm -hmm. in the context of the defense version, he was asked what happened the day he committed the offense and stated I was locked up. And then it was on the say that I did not elaborate any further. I believe it was a misunderstanding of what happened when he was arrested and detained. And that it would make sense that he was locked up and didn't write any further elaboration on it. And I guess there was miscommunication as well because I did uh, ask the probation office to let me know when the PSI was scheduled to happen. And, and what are you saying? I was, You're not ready? Or I'm ready. ready. Oh, okay. Oh, I wish I was honest. present during the interview because that would have been something that could have been cleaned up at that time. But as well, um, Juvenile history. This was a school by uh, SRO officer. Probably cited him. Uh, we know how that goes. It's nothing that was truly a reflection of who he is today. Of course, we're here on a serious matter, but it's going to provide context of that as well. Then for the employment history, he was a full time employee with the city of Beaumont, the water department. Uh, we entered the plea of guilt. A month ago, two months ago, they found out about it and let go. So, up until the plea of guilt, he was fully employed. But other than that, I am a key accepting the court as he is. Okay. What's that saying? Yeah. We have no corrections here. All right. Then it's made a part of the record. And the agreement is whatever sentence shall not exceed a cap of 10 years. So we know what the op there are several options there. Uh, regular probation is not one. Deferred is, and then flat time of no less than two, no more than 10. I don't think there's another option. Not that I'm aware of. Go ahead. Uh, defense, you may go first. I would like to call the mother if that would be a opportune time of this Go ahead. opportunity. Ms. Catherine Fox. <laughs> we just want her to step to the side of the panel or has it been? Okay. There you go. Hey, Ms. Bobs. Maybe someone Who is this now? This is the mother. What's your what's your name? Catherine. Okay. Did you get that? Yeah, raise your right hand. You solemnly swear or affirm that any statement you make today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you guide it. Yes. Miss Bobs, you understand what your son has been charged with? Yes. Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Yes. And um, his upbringing, were you mostly the parent to take care of him? Yes, sir. Okay. And as of today, are you? Been his main area of incomes or advice and all that jazz. Yes, sir. Okay. And can you just provide the court with some kind of context of who Raylan Wright is? Um, his character? Yes, sir. Um, Raylan, uh, he's my baby. He's the youngest of three. Um, 
I've been the solely um, young parent, um, the dad is not allowed to do more anything, you know, to do with me. Um, I've done the best I can with raising him, uh, trying to keep him away from the streets and all of that like that's going on. But um, How's that working out? It's going, well, since this- Here he is. Yeah. And everything I told him. It isn't. And since the incident that took place, has he kept a straight road or has there been? Oh, yeah. I, I think, I honestly think it's it scared him straight. I mean, he's at home, he's not running in the streets. And I think this is an eye open that, you know, can't go around doing things and not be able to conquer. And understanding the seriousness of this that she is looking at 10 years possibly um, with the great trip the state. Um, of course, you're the mother and you love your son. Okay. Well, what, would you, what would you think is the recommended punishment for this sentence? I mean, I, as his mother, I would say, you know, less time than that. I don't really know how all of this works. So, you know, I mean, who wants to see their kid go to prison? Um, so it could be two to 10. Or a kid also in probation, okay. and you understanding who your son is, what would be best for him? I mean, I would say probation. I mean, he's 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 not a bad person, you know. I mean, I think if he was constantly here for you know a whole lot of cases, and you know, I would say something different, but I would say that probation. Yeah. <clears throat> Ma'am, do you understand or do you do you know any of the facts of the case? What what was going on out there? Um I found out some of what was going what on. What did you think happened? When I found out what do you think? What happened? I think happened, I, honestly, I don't really know. Okay. I, I really don't know. I just know bits and pieces of the case. Well, you weren't there. I wasn't there, no, sir. So you don't know that there were 12 shell casings recovered at this. Your son fired 12 shots at this person. No, I did not know that. Well, he was shot twice. Two two bullets went into the person. Okay. You didn't know that? No, sir. There's a lot you must not know about your son. I don't have any further questions or do. What are you asking for in here? Or what are you asking for? Is probation or? I'm giving him probation with an understanding of the uh, low risk assessment that was provided by the probation's office and uh, lack of previous criminal history. Anything you want to say, sir? Uh, how would I say? I know my action wasn't right. And if you find it. Which, which part? <laughs> oh, my actual as in my, my case, my everybody saw with the weapon. I know what I did wasn't right. What did you do? Um, shot somebody. I shot somebody. What did you think was going to happen when you shot 12 rounds at somebody? Uh, I wasn't trying to hit him. Just, you hit him twice. I know, but I wasn't trying to. If that makes sense. What? All right, all right. He was out of out of anger and rage. Yeah. Over a one hundred dollar bet. Yeah, I, you you're going to shoot someone twelve times because you lost a bet. Is that what this world has come to? No, sir. No, it's what your world came to. Yes, sir. But if I can, well, that's what you are. Yes, sir. But I don't think that justifies who I am. As a person, the, your actions do, like mine, like his, like all of us. It's not yes, what we think we are, or what we try to portray ourselves to be. It's the choices we make, or our character decision determinations. Yes, sir. You made a choice to attempt to kill someone. Sh shooting twelve times at someone and shooting them twice over a one hundred dollar bet, made a bet on a video game. 
you lost the bet for whatever purpose. <clears throat> you sent a text message to the victim stating you were on your way to pay him. You sent a second message telling him, come outside. So he goes outside and this red or maroon four-door vehicle that you were in the passenger seat of and somebody else was driving. You fired 12 times at the victim who sustained gunshot wounds to his left knee and his right calf. And he was in a wheelchair here at the time that this probable cause affidavit was prepared after he went to St. Elizabeth Hospital. But the point of the matter is, is this, this happens in the middle of a residential area. Yes, sir. So you come in shooting the town up when everybody's trying to live peaceably and you are making a mess out of everything. So much for peaceful life here in Beaumont, huh? No wonder we, we get <clears throat> such criticism publicly called the most dangerous place. When It's not an evil town, but there are people making it evil. Yes, sir. With bad choices. Yes, you sir. don't drive through a residential area and just shoot 12 times over a $100 bet and think you're going to scamper out of here with just a slap on the wrist. That's terrible. Yes, sir. You have, there's no appreciation over the sanctity of life of another human being. One, his life is worth you losing a $100 bet. That's what you think. No, yes, sir. Yes, what you did, sir. Your actions speak for your intentions. I don't think you were reared that way. No, sir, I wasn't. Well, I, then your mother has. Jekyll and Hyde in her house. Which one are you? You're playing both sides, but you can't. You can't be evil and good. You've got to pick a choice. But you made a choice that night. And 12 rounds at someone in the middle of a residential intersection, uh, a residential area in town, disrupts everybody. Can you imagine all the people who had to deal with that? How, how threatened they feel like their home is not a safe place? Because of people like you, over $100 bet, that's what life is worth to you, sir? Well, when you shoot 12 times at a human being, you intend to kill them, especially when you hit them twice. He's just lucky you're a bad shot. But that's about it. Yes, sir. Shame on you for that. That's, that's not what... But that, that's, it's actions like yours are what makes the front page and what people think our area is all about. When we have good people who are struggling to try to keep the image of this area worthy of all the opportunities that are available with, with people who can make $40 an hour jobs, right and left. Yes, sir. Not you. You're busy. Messing up, messing up in another way. All you've got to do is get an education, get a trade, and you're making six figures yes, sir. and not going to prison. Yes, sir. But you have a choice like everybody else. And I don't understand how one after another people decide they want to get a gun, get the drugs, and shoot it out in the middle of the streets. No, we're going to, we're going to get law and order. It, it may be one step at a time, but this area is worth saving yes, from sir. people who act like you. And it's terrible. You, sh you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Yes, sir. Well, here's the problem with shooting somebody. You can't take the bullets back. Yeah, I think, yes, sir. I All right. Anything else? Anything? Judge. Um... You know where I'm headed. I don't like this. This is bad. This is represent representation of bad acts that are not allowed without severe consequences on this court's watch. You can, we can't allow this. He's not going to scamper out of here with, oh, I can do this and get probation. No way. 
No, he's going to be held accountable. I just want to say I was not there. Others weren't injured. I was there. I was not there that night. No, it's a serious, serious matter. But since I met him and worked with him, he's been on time. There are appointments or conferences. He had full time employment with the city of Oman. Showed up to work. Went home. Stayed out of trouble. And as I'm aware of today, there wasn't any violations of his bond conditions. How do you explain his conduct with all of that? His his actions speak louder than what we're talking about. He can do that. He can do that 99% of the time. But if 1%, he's shooting at people in this in the middle of residential areas over a $100 bet. I'm sorry. All of that kind of is a wasted effort when he can't have it. He can't say, I'm 99% going to be good. I'm a 99% good person. It's that 1% that I put people in harm's way and shoot people. I'm speaking to the rehabilitation. I understand yeah. that from the punitive standpoint that he should be punished within the realms of law and order. But in terms of how can he be rehabilitated from the actions that he took, of course, he could kill someone that night. And he did hit someone twice. And he had to go to the hospital and mm -hmm. everything like that. But so the message then you, you think I should send, you put him on probation, and everybody gets to shoot once at someone and put them in the hospital, shoot 12 times in residential areas, and you get the Draylon Wright rule. He gets another, they get another chance. What's fair for one is fair for all. No, not, not on my watch. He's stepped way over the line on this. <clears throat> and he's, he's lucky. He should be looking at 20 years. That's... That and actually attempted murder is another crime that could have been charged because that's what it is. Yes, honestly, my God, you, you, you would really attempted to murder another human, one of God's creatures. Can I ask you a question, Jenny? Your mind, go ahead. So, what the bill was on my side. I'm asking, like, what if I was in his shoes and he was in mine? What are you trying to ask? I'm trying to, I'm trying to ask you this. What? I, I know what I did was wrong, but... Okay, so what are you trying to ask now? Well, I don't understand this at all. Are you saying a bet, a $100 bet, justifies attempting to murder someone? No, sir. No, sir. All right, then I'd, I'd stay quiet because logic is not working for you. You're not using logic, right? You are. Mm -hmm. Anything else? If nothing further, I'm going to find you a pleaded guilty voluntarily. You are mentally competent to do so. You understand the consequences of pleading guilty. There's sufficient evidence supporting your guilty plea from States Exhibit 1 admitted during your plea hearing to find you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. I now find you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And I'm following this agreement. You were hereby sentenced to confinement in the Institutional Division of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice to serve a term of 10 years. There will be an affirmative finding that a deadly weapon, namely a firearm, was used in the commission of this offense. I wish for your family, who obviously is a role model, this lady is certainly a role model yes, sir. for actions that you defied to take. You yes, should have acted more responsible. You shouldn't have been hot-headed. Yes, and you shouldn't have taken a firearm, shot at a human being, shooting him twice in the middle of this city in a in a residential area and shooting 12 times. Yes, sir. Peace went right out the window with you. Yes, sir. And we're supposed to be living together peaceably. And we are not going to send a message that when you lose a $100 bet, you get to go shoot and attempt to kill somebody. No, we've got to be clear headed and we're going to be held re responsible when our actions are that foolish. Yes, sir. I wish you would have done something differently. Yes, sir. All right. Anything else? That is all. Ten years. That was more than I expected to him to give him. Um, 
you don't come out, I don't think people come out of prison unchanged. They either become more hardened or less hardened, but somehow they are changed. Hopefully he will go to the less hardened side, less angry side. Hopefully he can deal with his rage and anger there, figure out how to best deal with it. Um, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.